Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I'm about to watch this new TV spot. Now, apparently, Laura Kinney's claws, X-23's foot claws, are supposed to come out in this one. And that's what I'd heard. That's what I'm believing so far. I didn't actually see the more than the first three seconds of the video as I was trying to put it here. Anyway, let's check this out. Push. Logan, are you ready? On March 3rd, the claws come out. Yeah, for the claws. And that's it. Uh, you know what? Quick little TV spot. That's fine. That's all you need. All right. This is really cool. I like to see this. I like to see this a lot. In some ways, I'd rather have seen it as, you know, a surprise in the film. But what? Then you do it like once, maybe twice. So, you know what? I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad. That, I think that this is kind of a way of saying, look, we're going to keep this on par with canon, with, you know, the comic books in the sense that she has the claws in her feet. You know, and only two in her hands. I'm, I'm really happy that they did this. Um, I honestly see this movie, like, more and more, the more I hear about this movie. And plus, you know what? Even people from Marvel are seeing this movie and coming out, like, on Twitter and saying, this is the best movie that Fox has put out, superhero-wise, ever. So, this fills me with so much hope. Guys, I'm going to let you in on a little fan theory. I have a feeling that, if not by the end of this movie, because they might just decide to keep this movie as soothing as peaceful as cool as possible you know uh maybe they're building off of the work of nathaniel essex which is mr sinister who was revealed in an end credit scene at the end of x-men apocalypse i believe that's what this is that they're just building off of this work this is what's left over from his gene samples but i do believe that they're going to keep this girl as uh laura kinney as the new wolverine and she's going to be brought back in time, and that's going to be the new recast for Wolverine. So, kind of like a soft reboot, you know? And, and how does she get back in time? Because she's so much further in the future. Excuse my voice. Um, really long podcast yesterday. I believe that they're going to do this by having Cable, right? In the Deadpool movies, Cable is going to go for I mean, there are a lot of time travelers. It could be Bishop. It could be anybody. But I think it'll be Cable, who goes forward in time and kind of treats her like a hope kind of character and brings her back and now she's going to have the soft reboot and be the modern Wolverine. Um, again, I love the idea that yesterday um, Hugh Jackman announced that, yes, once again, he reaffirmed that, like uh, the announcement that Patrick Stewart made, those two are done. They're done with the uh, Wolverine character. They're done with the X franchise. That's it. Finito. Finished. He might make a cameo as a non-Wolverine, as somebody who looks like Wolverine. That could be cool. He might actually do that in Deadpool. You know, you look like somebody I know. No, nah, I don't know you. Um, but what I do think is uh, is cool is that he stated that he would happily return as Wolverine under one condition. And that is if he got to play Wolverine in an Avengers movie. So, guys, this is literally the biggest hope that we have of getting Fox and Disney to talk nice to each other. Because Marvel is just the poor little guy in the middle saying, can't we all just get along, literally? And Fox and Disney are fighting each other. So, this, this could be a really good thing. I do love the idea that this opens up a whole new world for things. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Hey, I'm going to see you in theaters uh, this Friday, right? For Thursday night. All right, class dismissed.